What's going on, everybody? So pretty much we're going to go through how I got my Ultimate Freeze players. I saw Calvin Johnson sitting there for what? what? What is he? What is his lowest amount right there? What, 196? I'm like, what? Really? But then I realized it's not like Madden 15. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the height really makes much of a difference. If you're going to get user caught on, you're going to get aggressive caught on. It's going to happen. Things are going to definitely transpire. That's going to be out of your control. Um, as I was trying to get that one, somebody bought him very, very promptly. Uh, probably hoping that he'd be able to stop something. Pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through the um, the solo matches. So I wanted to get the players to kind of test them out in the snow because it's the ultimate freeze. Why not test them out in the snow? Um, so we're going to go through this whole process of picking up the players and seeing how they, you know, how they rank and try to give you guys an idea of what I feel about them. Because as much as people may disagree with a lot of things that I do, um, pretty much when I have an opinion on, on some of the players, you know, as far as user and things like that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, Tavon Austin. Obviously, last night he was beast. Uh, beating on the um, Buccaneers, but uh, that Thursday night game, which if you want to hear a recap of it, I do NFL recaps also at GMI's World. You might want to check those out. It's also available on iTunes and Android on the GMI's World podcast. Uh, looking at Fleener, he's 6'6". You know what I'm saying? Height is, is a very, you know, it's just something that you, you probably will need in most cases. Um, you know, how I'm going to utilize him, I don't know. Taylor Mays, this guy right here, bro. I just had a feeling about him because no matter, you know, he's been cut from the Bengals. You know, he got another try other places, things like that. He just has that body that, you know, EA, EA Sports has made him 6'4 in some games. Uh, right now he's 6'3. Regardless, his jump is always going to be ridiculous. He's so athletic. And to have him at right outside linebacker, you, you could do so much with him. So, um, you know, pretty much it was like a little bidding war. I was going back and forth, and uh, I finally was able to get him. Uh, you know how these bids go. Dudes just keep coming out of nowhere and just doing whatever. You know, I'm trying. I'm on a budget, bro. Like, I'm not trying to just spend everything. And, um, you know, I, I just really wanted this card. Uh, Taylor Mays has always been a decent card going way back to when he came into the league where he was like a 60 overall and people were subbing him in. And, um, you know, we're going to see how he is at middle linebacker. I'm not, you're actually going to see throughout these solo challenges how clutch he is. So if you're looking for somebody to use around the field, I know he's only 6'3", but he's definitely somebody you would want to have some interest in. Um, you know, his, his user is just completely ridiculous uh, as far as everything that goes along with him, um, his attributes and everything like that. I think he's somebody that uh, will be good for anybody's team, whatever whatever level you are. So we're going to go ahead and sub some people in. Um, right there, I'm just putting Kobe Fleener in behind, uh, you know, Calvin Johnson. Obviously, I'm going to start him at uh, strong safety. And I'm going to leave Glover Quinn over there. Glover Quinn is, you know, he's been consistent, but I can always adjust during the game. We're going to go ahead and put Tavon Austin, is, Austin in as the starter and look at some of these other things that's going on. You know, the Dree Archers, we got to keep them. You know what I'm saying, bro? We got we got to keep the Dree Archers in the house. Why, why not? You know what I'm saying, bro? He's probably the best running back in Mutt um, for your dollar. You know what I'm saying, bro? A lot of the other guys will break tackles as far as the elite players and things like that, but... You know, you can't go wrong with these guys. You can't go wrong with Dre Archers. And uh, Tavon Austin, I just know he's going to be beast. He's always been beast. Uh, to get him at a running back, he's probably one of the most uh, sufficient cards that make sense to get. I know he's a lower overall, but he's just an upgraded Dre Archer. You know what I'm saying, bro, as far as overall goes. So, yeah, w what would a team be without Tim Tebow? He's another individual that I just wanted to see do well because of his mindset, how hard he works, and things like that. But he just didn't have specific gifts that they were looking for in the NFL and a prototypical quarterback. And, um, you know, anytime I can get my hands on him, you know, not not like to touch him, but like in the game, um, you know, I'm going to do that. So I could use him for a fullback. You know, he's always been a strong, big guy, a guy that stayed in the gym. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Kyrie Robinson, who uh, fumbled the ball during one of my head-to-head uh, -head matches the other day and cost me the game. I'm going to put Tim Tebow in as fullback. So you're looking at the lineup right now uh, to see what we're going in with. We're going to go to the weekly um, solo matches, Arctic Rush. And we're just going to be playing these games with these players, guys, and seeing what they have to offer before I bring them into a head-to-head -head match because usually I'm getting blown out, something's happening that's ridiculous. So most of the games are obviously going to be in the snow because it's ultimate freeze. It would make sense for it to be in the snow. Um, a lot of guys have problems playing in the snow. Pretty much, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Just don't throw streaks. And that that, that comes that, that sounds hilarious with me saying that because that's all I do is throw streaks. But you just can't throw streaks in the snow. The ball's going to go all over the place and there's nothing you can do about it. Right here, Tony Romo's going to do what Tony Romo does and uh, that's why pretty much you should just be careful with throwing streaks bro uh, even though that was a post route we're gonna try it again um, Rashad Perriman is GOAT but this is a rookie match obviously it's gonna get to higher levels as the uh, you know the solos are released and we'll see what comes of that but uh, for the most part right now look at look at how to kick the ball in the snow bro it's ridiculous but that's all you really have to do in these initial solo matches pretty sure it's gonna get a lot harder as it goes on like I just said that looked like it didn't go in Did it, didn't it just drop in front of the ref I don't know. They gave me the point. I don't know. Whatever, bro. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and kick the ball up and see what um, 
the computer has in store for us because no matter what level the computer's on they will send an a gap and they will try to streak you with hail mary and win the game so let's see what happens right here taylor may's lurking in the middle of the field and look at calvin johnson just standing there you see what i'm saying bro so it's not like he could have made a play he just stood there and uh, i got another game play i'm going to show you in another solo match coming soon so if you haven't subscribed and you want to see what calvin johnson is all about you want to check it you might want to check it out right there i don't know maybe it was emerson more than him but he's on the ground laying there why is joe philbin still there he, they need to remove him as being a coach in this league uh, in the game too that's how bad he was as a Miami Dolphins coach and I'll uh, definitely subscribe because I got the other solos coming soon and you will want to see how these guys test out until next time one love